I don't know how many Jurassic Park movies y'all got to come out with to realize that y'all need to stop uh, messing with these dinosaurs. Bowl. Hope your team wins, but that don't stop no tea chat live. Anyway, so I decided I'm gonna just uh, do a quick tea chat live because there was actually a lot of breaking tea today and a whole bunch of um, random uh, news that kind of set up today. Most of it is the uh, entertainment news, and a little bit of it is in let's see, and a little bit of it is of course. Um, in movie news, um, cause if you don't know, um, a lot of like movie premieres, um, sometimes like clothing line drops or even sometimes musical artists will, um, drop their, um, premiere commercials or whatever the case may be, um, during the Super Bowl. Now, of course, y'all know I'll get all my updates from YouTube because most stuff is posted on YouTube around the same time they post it on a lot of people don't know this but when they you see a commercial that pops up on the Super Bowl it's at the exact moment stuff is popping up on YouTube so I just want to do a really quick rundown for tea chat live tonight because I got a little bit of the tea um you know people like to drop a lot of stuff um you know, on big days. Um, but today, I thought it was important to make um, a conversation about some of these topics. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to talk a little bit. Let me pin this information. Also, in the comments, because I know, um, you know, it's funny how a lot of people was uh, protesting at the beginning of, the, uh, of last year. But now, I guess y'all forgot about that now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the info in the comments. What we're talking about. And I'm just going to go straight through with the T, y'all. Because a lot of people don't know this. Especially if you ain't really been paying attention. Or if you've been in the kitchen cooking all day. Or, you know, I know a lot of y'all probably making food, snacks, and all that other stuff. I think they probably already had the halftime show. So, um, since, you, since you guys probably are either watching the halftime show or it's almost over, I don't really know where y'all at right now. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know. Today is actually Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. And a lot of people don't know this, but it is actually trending right now on Twitter that today is Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. So, Post your picture, uh, post your favorite um, story or concert um, story because today everybody is saying in protest of Justin Timberlake performing at the Super Bowl, they are doing a Janet Jackson Appreciation Day, which is crazy to me because I feel like when the thing happened, like if you guys don't remember, 14 years ago is when Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake actually performed together. You know, that's when Justin Timberlake was still on his R&B kick. Now he then went back to Man in the Woods and decided to switch up, kind of like how Miley Cyrus switched up. So he's performing at the Super Bowl again this year, which a lot of people, it's kind of funny because a lot of people ain't really talking about it, but it's real suspect to me that he performing all of a sudden. But everybody's saying in honor of Janet Jackson, Basically getting most of the riffraff for when it happened. Right, Nipplegate. <laughs> Hashtag Nipplegate. From Janet Jackson getting most of the backlash when it happened last year. I mean, when it happened 14 years ago. People are saying this is basically a Janet Jackson Appreciation Day um, all over the world in protest to, um, uh, to Justin Timberlake performing. Me, personally, I'm all for Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. I mean, a girl been performing since she slid out the womb. And I would much more rather have seen Janet Jackson come through and do any performance. Matter of fact, that's probably the only reason why I would have even watched the Super Bowl is if Janet Jackson was going to perform at the Super Bowl. 
because that would have been extra epic. It would have been 14 years and the baby and a marriage later since she's been able to um, do this. So I definitely would have been there all for it. Anyway, today is hashtag Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. So make sure you show your appreciation for your girl, Janet Jackson. All right. So that's that story. Next story. Now, um, top two movies premiere during the Super Bowl, if you've seen those commercials, um, besides Black Panther, which we all know Black Panther is the number one movie that is being anticipated right now, because y'all know I'm ready with the outfit, got my red wig ready, I've been testing makeup looks, I'm ready for Black Panther, I know you are too, hashtag Wakanda, um, two movies, their trailers premiere, and I was kind of mad because I, I see trailers first on YouTube. So, of course, like I said, I don't watch the Super Bowl, but I've seen the premiere of these trailers on YouTube. And actually, um, so the trailer for Han Solo, if you guys don't know, Donald Glover is going to be the main star of that. He is starring in it. So, of course, I know people are going to come through for Donald Glover in that movie. He's playing um, Han Solo in a Star Wars movie. So, that is coming out on Memorial Day weekend. And then we have Jurassic Park. Now, I was having this conversation earlier about Jurassic Park. And they're like, how many times... <laughs> Childish Gambino, yes, Chris. How many times can we come out with a Jurassic Park movie and it still be actually entertaining? So, we all know back in the day, I know when I was younger, Jurassic Park was the move. That was the movie, and it was exciting to see these dinosaurs come alive. And now, you just got more technology, um, more of a storyline. Still, Steven uh, Spielberg is producing it, but... It's coming through. So if you don't know, y'all better ask somebody. But um, the movie is coming out. It is called Jurassic Park, The Fallen Kingdom. Yes, y'all. Jurassic Park, Fallen Kingdom. Um, the reviews on Twitter is the trailer is freaking scary. It was only about a minute and a half. Um and the Han Solo trailer was only about 45 seconds. So, again, you know, like a lot of people say, like I say, I don't know how many Jurassic Park movies y'all got to come out with to realize that y'all need to stop uh, messing with these dinosaurs. Just let them go ahead and die off again by themselves. But, you know, greed keep on making people want to keep putting these dinosaurs in the park. Anyway, it's a good story. I'm glad to see that they're coming out with that again. So June 22nd, definitely want to look forward to Jurassic Park, The Fallen Kingdom. Again, you can go see that trailer if you maybe you miss it. Maybe you want to go take a pee break. You can see the movie uh, preview trailer right now on YouTube. Again, let me go ahead. I'm going to drop um, a Twitter link in the comments because y'all know I said I love to drop links in the comments so y'all can see a live trailer from the Twitter timeline. You don't need Twitter to look at it. Uh, so I'm going to drop that link in there. I'm excited about that movie. It's it's probably it's probably going to be it's probably going to be good. I don't know what it is, but nowadays people love to drop these epic epic trailers and you just you just can't get enough. So that I just dropped in the comments is the Han Solo right there. The Han Solo um, trailer that's also um, just dropped during the Super Bowl. Again, if it's getting boring right now, y'all go ahead and tune in to me. Go ahead and like, share this on your uh, status. Let me know in the comments, can you wait for this movie? Are you going to go see this movie? Are you a Star Wars head? I don't know what they call Star Wars fans. Are you a Jurassic Park fan? I'm excited for Jurassic Park. Um, I watched one trailer on YouTube and ended up going through a million trailers. Like, I didn't even know they was coming out with The Strangers Part 2. A lot of people slept on that movie. But, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, again, I dropped those links in the comments. Let me know what you think about those movies. And more news. I don't know. Uh, I wish. Now, if y'all know, y'all watch my uh, YouTube channel, you know I do kind of like reviews about um, going to like talk shows and most talk shows are here right here in New York 
but a lot of the really good ones like Ellen, aka, are in LA. If I swear to God, if I ever go to LA, I'm only going to LA to go to the Ellen show. Now, a lot of people ain't heard about this, but y'all, Ellen gave out a million dollars. Yes, she gave out a million dollars, and I'm mad about it. Can you imagine going to California for vacation and then leaving the Ellen show with your share of a million dollars? A million dollars. Like, Oprah gave out cars, but them cars was only maybe like 40000 each. But Ellen gave out a million dollars to her whole studio audience to split. Now, that's not a lot because the average studio audience is not even 200 people. A lot of people be thinking like, oh, it look like a lot of people in the stands, but it's not. An uh, average studio audience is under 200 people. So y'all do the math. Take $1 million and divide that $1 million by 200 people or less. And that's how much money everybody left the Ellen show with. And I'm jealous. Okay? I'm jealous. Because that is going to change a lot of people's lives just to go on that show and you got your share of a million dollars. So, right? Exactly. I need to make that trip too. So, let me know in the comments if you were to go to a random talk show and they gave you a million dollars. Like, what's the first thing that you would do? With your share of a million dollars. Because you know the government is going to try to come through and take their little portion of the taxes. I don't care. It's still a lot of money. Go ahead and take your portion. But a million dollars? Look, I work for Ellen for free for the day if she give me a million dollars for going on her show. Like, that that's just amazing. And they said that that is actually the most money, the most money that's ever been given out on the show. Ellen just rich. I feel like if I was rich, too, I'd probably be just giving out freaking money all the time, too. Again, I'm jealous. I can't wait to see the stories online. This show actually happened on Friday. So, of course, you can go on the YouTube page right now and kind of see uh, Ellen Rewind. And you can see it on her Facebook page, the rewind of her giving her studio audience a million dollars. Man, talking about after Christmas, a blessing. I'm mad about it. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the comments, as I always do, about um, the story about Ellen giving her audience a million dollars. Let me know again in the comments what you think. Um, I know if I was in win that million dollars and I was in California, I don't know. First thing I'd probably do is call up my student loans and pay off my student loans because, I mean... See, a million dollars, ah, oh, 200, Chris, what's the calculator on that? One million, I'm going to say her studio audience is only about 175 people, um, a five stacks each, $5,000, I mean, that ain't a lot of money, so I guess $5,000, I'll probably have to go to Vegas try myself at, at Vegas, even if her audience is only 125 people, you still getting a lot of money, a million dollars, you still can have you a good vacation in California for the rest of your time there, um, get upgrade to first class on your way back home or something like that, I don't know, anyway, again, you guys, um, let me know in the comments what you think about the million dollars. Let me know in the comments what you think about hashtag Janet Jackson Appreciation Day. Um, and again, before I get to the main, main news that everybody want to know about and talk about, um, I'm going to give y'all a quick Black History Month um, shout out for Eartha Kitt. Now, the reason why I'm going to do a Black History Month shout out on the show, on my T chat, you know, once you do something for 21 days, right, help put, exactly, help put down payment on the house, something, shoot, I'll put that boy in a money market account, let it grab some interest too, you know, put in some stocks or something, double, the, double that quick five stacks. Um, but Black History Month, 
Um, so you guys know, I don't know why Black History Month, I felt like, I don't know, this was the month. You ain't gonna make me mad this month. It's Black People Appreciation Month. whoop de boop boop So the person I'm gonna shout out for Black History Month is going to be Eartha Kitt. Now, with the premiere of... Um, Black Panther coming and everybody talking about Black Panther and getting ready for Black Panther and it being the number one movie of the year. I thought, let's look at some other, um, right, tour show baby school fun. I thought about what is some people that would kind of relate to the superheroes but also can do a Black History shout out and that's Earth the Kit. So a lot of people don't know it. Eric has been a two cat woman movies. Um, that have ever had black people in it. And both of those people, um, the first one is Eartha Kitt. She is the black cat woman. She's the first black cat woman. And when the movie came out in the 60s, it was a really, really big thing. Not only was she an actress, um, but she also was really popular on the stage, acting, singing, dancing, all that stuff. So for a black history shout out, we gonna shout out Eartha Kitt. She the girl. She that deal. Um, let me see. I think. Yes. She's that deal. Um, again, next story before I go to the big story. Y'all know the big story is all the information that I know about Kylie and her baby. Um, H&M. Now, I know you guys remember us talking a lot of stories about H&M and the whole uh, monkey, coolest monkey in the jungle situation a few weeks ago and them saying they, they took it down. A lot of people don't know this. You probably wouldn't even understand it unless you really watch like business news or whatever the case may be. But H&M is actually closing a lot of their stores because of stuff like this and because of stores um like this and of course the whole retail being a whole crazy world of retail uh, a lot of people a lot of not a lot of people a lot of HML stores are actually deciding to go online they're trying to test the waters and see if they could just make just as much money hey Gaia see if they can make just as much money online as they can in stores now if you guys don't know when the whole thing happened with the coolest monkey in the jungle thing um, a lot of stores in South Africa had got ramaged. Um, but, um, let's see. It, it says in 2018, the clothing retailer is expecting to close at least 170 stores um, and open up a total of 390 new ones. Now, if you guys don't understand what that means, basically, um, they're going to be closing... What they're saying is they're going to be closing more stores than opening stores. Um, I know the numbers seem kind of like weird. I'm going to post the link to Bloomberg in the comments. It's really just a numbers game. But basically, it is the most stores that they ever closed in the history of closing dumb. Um, they're, so they're going to be closing 140 stores all throughout 2018 trying to test out if it's going to be better for them to go online. Look, if you make some more racist clothing, we still going to be able to catch it online. It's just be easier to do a screen grab, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm still trying to get over a cold on the low key. Anyway, I dropped that story in the link. Let me know. Again, I never really shopped at H&M. I don't see myself starting. Just like football, I never really cared for the NFL and I'm definitely not going to start watching the football. But y'all enjoy y'all food. I only used to go to Super Bowl parties anyway for the free food and, and the liquor. Um, but <laughs> y'all have fun with that. Most people are looking forward to the This Is Us um, episode tonight. And because a lot of people probably will not turn the channel after watching the Super Bowl, a lot of people are actually looking forward to This Is Us coming on tonight, right after the Super Bowl. And I assume that maybe the Super Bowl will be over about 10 o'clock. I never understand why the Super Bowl takes four hours, five hours, six hours. Um, I guess with all the commercials and commentary, but you know, whatever. So, Biggest news, because I always like to do the biggest news late now, because I see now, um, right, halftime show, commercials, and analysis, exactly. 
All right. So, that was my rundown of basically the most, like, even when I checked all my gossip sites today, y'all, even gossip is running slow because everybody is really waiting for um, the halftime performance, which, I, again, I don't watch this stuff, but I like to check Twitter because soon as something happens, Twitter is the first website, the first social media network to even post about it. So when it happened, I'm watching it right here on Twitter. It says the Eagles is 22, Patriots is 12. I think that the Patriots is going to lose. Again, I don't watch football, but they're going to lose. <laughs> now, the big news. Now, y'all know for weeks we've been talking about how all the Kardashians is pregnant at the same time. Even uh, Kim, even though it kind of was a, even though it was a surrogate baby, they all basically are having their babies this year. Um, that's going to be a hell of, hell of a year because Chicago West is going to have a birthday in January. Kylie's baby is going to have a birthday in February. Chloe probably is going to have her baby around June or July. Like, they go big and going to have a lot of birthdays to be celebrating at the beginning of the year. And so today, after nine months, and after nine months and three days, Kylie Jenner finally decided to reveal that she was pregnant. Now, um, I knew they all was pregnant a long time ago. Um, and uh, if you watch one of the old T-Chat lives, we actually, I actually said that she was kind of trying to hide her pregnancy because maybe she didn't want to uh, show young people that she was having a baby or whatever the case may be. And maybe it was a PR move. That wasn't the case. So Kylie um, basically posted a, a big letter talking about um, how she apologized for being so low-key over last month. I'm going to read a few lines. It said, I'm sorry for keeping you in the dark throughout the assumptions. I understand you're used to me bringing you along my journeys. My pregnancy was one I chose not to do in front of the world. So she said the pregnancy was one that she decided not to do in front of everybody, even though she basically was Snapchat, Instagram, um, popular and big, just like her sisters or whatever the case may be. But she really wanted to treat her pregnancy as something that was so sacred. Um, I said congratulations on the baby. Um, I can see how or why maybe that she wanted to keep it low key. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, y'all share everything else in the world. And now you're sharing it now. I don't see the difference. But again, if I was to have a kid, I'm not even famous. But if I was to have a kid, I'd probably be super, super low key about my pregnancy too and um i probably wouldn't even show anybody but again uh she said for herself she knew she needed to prepare for this role of a lifetime now if y'all watch the video again i'm gonna drop some of the links in the comments they said that kylie been wanting to have a baby since she was 15. i don't know about y'all but that seems a little bit um a little bit weird to me. I don't know any 15-year-old that wants to have a kid and is excited about having a kid and who's like, oh, my God, I'm going to have a kid at 15 years old. I don't know about all that. I mean, maybe because you're 15 and rich, but I don't know who's saying I want to have a baby at 15. But, again, I just dropped the links in the comments. You can see the pictures um, that were posted on all her sister's social media site. Chloe actually posted a picture of Kendall's baby bump um, that they took pictures together. And her, like, her stomach was way bigger than Chloe's, which kind of made me feel like maybe Chloe's baby won't be as big. But Kendall's baby ended up being about 8 pounds and 9 ounces. She got a big baby. Now, that explains why she looked it kind of puffy in the face. Um, camera still followed her the whole way. A lot of people were suspected that Kylie was the surrogate. I seriously doubt it if Kim would have made her little sister, her little sister have her baby. 
um, on all this time. I mean, I just I just find it kind of weird how she was with Tiger for all that time, all that controversy. You was with Tiger from the time you was 17 years old, barely legal, 17 years old to 19 years old. You was with him all that time. I guess maybe the baby mama drama and maybe you was like, I don't really see myself having a future with Tyga because of um, Black China, but the video, if you, again, if you watch the vi YouTube video, I'll put the YouTube video in the comments. Her friends were saying, you know, she met old boy and they just kind of kicked it off and they must have really hit it off because she wasn't even with him that long and she immediately had a baby but apparently she's been looking forward to this baby she's so excited and so happy she always wanted to be a mother um everybody's like oh she's going to be a great mother now and whoop de whoop whoop again i would say check out the video for yourself she got all her friends in the video talking about how much kylie really wanted a baby i don't know i didn't know she wanted a baby that bad they made it seem like she'd been wanting a baby since she was a little girl um but she got her little baby and if you see the video little uh chicago west made her premiere in the little movie, you can actually see the baby. Um, weirdly enough, she don't really, I don't know. I don't know how surrogacy works. I mean, I know you put that per the man and the woman inside the egg, but inside of a third party. But I don't know if that baby um, very. It's one thing to have goals of being a mom one day, but to seriously at 15, exactly. Uh, but I don't know if a surrogate... A uh, child, somebody who carries your baby, actually has a chance of maybe, I don't know, sharing blood with that baby or even sharing some features. Because this baby's feature, if you see the video, um, Chicago West features were um, not too similar to um, the other two babies. You know, the other two babies kind of had like the button nose. And the chubby cheeks, that whole, and more of a tan, because, you know, they're, they're all black. But this baby looked at it like it was a little bit less, um, a little light skin, and the nose was a little different. So, again, hopefully, um, uh, later on, she's going to show, of course, she's going to show some more pictures of the baby, of course, soon. Um, Kylie actually hasn't named the baby yet. Um, not jeans, it's the fertilized eggs. That is implanted. Right. Okay. There you go. So, it's a fertilized egg that's implanted. So, um, again, curious to see more pictures of how this baby's going to look. Maybe it might be the lighter of the most of them. But, again, you can see a premiere, a little picture, a little sneak peek of Chicago West in that video. And you can also see um, the whole nine months. She's basically been recording stuff over the nine months. Um, the baby daddy, his family was able to see the baby and she was all like talking about how she was eating separate food for her and separate food for the baby. I mean, it was kind of adorable. I mean, it was kind of adorable and I could kind of see how she wanted to keep it low key because again, I would have kept it low key too. But now that she had the baby, the baby was born on February 1st, over eight pounds. It's a big baby. Um, and she basically kept it a secret because she didn't want to be stressed or running from paparazzis and all that. And again, congratulations to her. Um, again, uh, post some more links in the comments. She did a whole like, you know, thank you. She even cut her comments off. Um, but everybody was saying congrats. It's Travis Scott, 2118. New Rager in town forever. So, again, this is supposedly their first baby together. Um, and everybody is so happy. Chris Jenner is on Twitter. Excited to be a grandmother again. She said, God is so good. I'm excited and thrilled to welcome another precious baby girl into our beautiful, ever-growing family. Like I told y'all, the Kardashians are going to be African-American family by the year 2050. Simple as that. Um, now they're posting all the pictures for the last few months of her pregnancy. Is It kind of feel like she couldn't wait to let the stuff, let the cat out the bag. A lot of people are like, how does she have a baby already? 
When you are super skinny like that or small frame like that, you're not going to be able to see a person's bump to at least get to third to fourth months. And so that kind of was the thing with Kylie. You can see on her social media, and all her pictures went from showing her belly to only showing like shoulder up. Um, but she did get a little chubby in the face. Again, that is my news rundown for the week. It is Sunday. This is TJ Live. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I see. I'm looking at my timeline right now. And they talking about Cardi B as Alexia Super Bowl commercial. She just be acting a dang gone fool, y'all. Um, but, of course, all the products got all their commercials. Of course, you're going to probably be talking about those commercials later. Again, have fun tonight, guys. Drive home safely. If you're out there drinking, consider sleeping on somebody's couch. Um, if your team won, w wins, congratulations. If your team lost, pay up that money. Um, again, I will holler at you guys on Thursday again with another Tea Chat Live because this is what I do. I really can't even see myself not doing it, so I just do it because I can't help it, y'all. I'm extra. When you're 100% committed, you just can't really see yourself not doing it. Again, I will be here on Thursday with another Tea Chat Live. And again, as I always say, check out my YouTube videos because I'm actually going to be making a few reaction videos and etc 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 all right y'all deuces i holla at you deuces don't forget you can follow me on all social media the links are in the info box and thank you for watching